everybody once more this is dr elias from the department of education hazara university mansara today i'm going to talk to you about um a, a very important issues for students and uh, research students especially and uh, also uh, research supervisors you know at the university level or maybe at the college level as well and that is the quality of supervisions and the qualities of a good research supervisor. The choice of a good research supervisor is quite important um, because a good supervisor uh, is quite helpful uh, in actually the successful completion of a thesis or any other research project. And on the other hand, if there are problems in the supervision or in the supervisor and super supervisee relationship, there could be problems there in the process of, of, of research. So keeping in view the importance of the, um, of the important role of the supervisor, we see that in the preliminary pages of uh, most research, uh, the research theses, there is a mention of the supervisor at the, in the very beginning of the acknowledgement section, and that actually shows the importance of um, the supervisor. So let's see, and, um, and, to, and so I will begin with uh, uh, the acknowledgement, a part of the acknowledgement of my own PhD thesis uh, in which I have referred to my own supervisor. So let's see what I have written um, there in the very beginning. So I have written that this thesis began with my interest in the education and development of thinking and reflective individuals. This is what my supervisor practically did to me, made me think continuously and consistently throughout the course of this thesis, Dr. Chris Comber played Socrates, doing the most important thing in the process, asking questions. For this and for much more genuine interest in my work availability whenever I needed his advice, his incisive intellect and great insight, and most of all, his dedication. I'm deeply grateful. I could not have asked for a better supervisor and teacher. And so, as was the case, my supervisor actually read everything from the beginning of the thesis to the end of the thesis, and so many times. And so, when he read this last sentence, sentence uh, um, that is, I could not have asked for a better supervisor. Um, because my supervisor was a very objective person and, and actually a true intellectual and a critical thinker. He looked at me and said, oh, Elias, how can you say that uh, you could not have asked for a better supervisor? Maybe there are, there are many more, but um, more supervisors who are better than me. And so I didn't have an answer for that because acknowledgments is usually written out of feelings rather than out of any uh, rational, uh, rational thinking. So anyway, let's move to the next uh, slide. Here I have um, um, actually mentioned these three qualities that I think are essential for a good research supervisor. And so on a personal level, academic level and professional level, there are certain qualities that I think are very useful in the process of supervision. So now the first one is on personal qualities. Personal qualities um, include a number of qualities that, that, uh, uh, that include the humanity or uh, courtesy, humility, consideration, being considerate, and encouraging and welcoming. Humanity, you know, a supervisor is first of all should be a good human being. If you're not a good human being, even if you are an Einstein, you will not be a very useful supervisor. Courtesy is also very important, and this actually uh, develops close relationship between the supervisor and the Supervisor usually a supervisor is um, is in a in a more powerful position, but if he's a courteous person, that actually can make him um, or her 
more reachable to, for the supervisee. Humility is something that is generally um, important for people, but especially for academics and uh, at the supervisor, uh, supervisory level. This is quite important. And that actually means uh, not imposing your knowledge on the supervisee, or rather uh, thinking about your own level of knowledge or, or scholarship in, in a kind of critical way. And then being considerate regarding the needs, the emotional needs, the social and psychological needs of the supervisee. Um, encouraging. Sometimes a supervisor, just a few words, good words from a supervisor can play a big role in the encouragement of the supervisor, supervisee and, and boasting his, um, um, actually, uh, his courage. And then the supervisor should be welcoming. He should not be distant so that the supervisee actually feel free in actually contacting him and going for, uh, for help. Um, the encouraging thing, um, I remember once I, uh, I uh, took part in a discussion where there were a number of professors and other seniors and I played a kind of leading role in that discussion. And at the end of the discussion, my supervisor, Dr. Chris Comber, uh, came to me and told me, Elias, I'm very proud of you as my student. And, um, and the way you conducted this, uh, this discussion was really, very, uh, really excellent. And that was something great for me. You know, of the many good things that I remember about my supervisor, I also remember that particular uh, incident. And so, next we move to the academic qualities of a supervisor. A supervisor should have good knowledge of the research philosophy and methodology and also the ethical issues that are, that are involved in the research process then the supervisor should have good knowledge of the field of research in which the student is actually working. This is not always the case because students might be doing uh, research in some very specific field where the supervisor's knowledge is in a kind of general knowledge. But still, this is quite important. Um, then the supervisor should be passionate about the research and inquiry in the relevant field. And is, if, I mean, this is quite a, a human thing, that if you do not have interest in a particular area, it's, it's quite difficult actually to take interest in the research of the supervisee and, and that might create problems. And then the next very important um, quality in this academic category is that the supervisor should be current in the field of research in general and in the areas of study he or she supervises. supervises. Then there are certain professional qualities that are important for a good or a, or a successful research supervisor. And these include that, that he or she should be aware of and abiding by the professional responsibility, by his or her professional responsibilities. Um, and he and she should be systematic and organized. So they should have a system uh, because in, in many cases, a supervisor supervises more than one super, uh, students. And so he or she should have um, a, a whole record of the student and should have organized things related to the researches, um, uh, to the research supervisor, uh, supervisees. Then, the, this is also important in the modern era that the supervisor should have access to and should, should have expertise in the use of modern technology. In many cases, this is now the pen and paper uh, era. And so the supervisor, the supervisor needs to be um, used to the, modern, the use of modern technology so that he or she can keep in touch through different means like uh, one can see that these days supervisees and supervisors cannot keep in touch physically. So now it's all about the information technology that, that will be quite useful. 
Uh, another uh, thing that comes in the professional quality is that the, the, the supervisor should be friendly and reachable, but on a professional level. They should, should not go into a kind of informal friendliness. That might have its own problems there. And then, uh, this is something very important, that the supervisor is someone who is not driving the car for the supervisee. He is someone who is putting the supervisee into the driving seat and just maybe um, at times when the, when, when the supervisee is kind of losing the direction. So the supervisor comes there and corrects the course of the, of the drive, but the supervisor does not get into the driving seat and he lets the student discover for himself and, and makes him more and more independent, towards the, especially towards the end of the thesis. One more professional quality that is quite important is that the supervisor should have good knowledge of the rules and regulations of the institutions. In many cases, there are time lapses, semester, semester lapses, and there are other technical um, issues related to rules that the supervisors should know so that uh, um, in, uh, inadvertently the students do not get harmed. Then the supervisor is someone who follows rules and, and, and regulations um, and they do not go for shortcuts. In many cases uh, uh, this can happen but as, uh, as, an, uh, as a leader, especially as an academic, uh, this should not be the case. Critical in a constructive way. Supervisors should always be critical, but in a constructive way. Their criticism should not be negative or damaging to the self-confidence of the student. Because if you just give them everything, but if you take the self-confidence of the student, that can be quite, quite destructive. And then, um, one thing more is that because the supervisor, the supervisor has different types of students, some, are, some have more abilities and skills and some have less, that's why his support for the students will vary and it will depend on the abilities of and the progress of the students. And similarly, he, the, the, uh, another very important professional quality of the supervisor is that he or she promotes and supports students professionally. I can give you a personal example again from my supervisor. I remember once um, a group of students from Japan came to England and they were interested in learning about the teacher education in England. And my supervisor contacted me and he told me, Elias, you are doing research on, uh, on an aspect of the teacher education in England. So why not you go and give a lecture to these Japanese students? And he also told me that there is, there is a little bit of kind of payment for that as well. And so I went there and uh, I delivered a lecture in front of those Japanese students and, and that was a very interesting and productive um, interaction for me and plus it also kind of jacked up my my confidence that my supervisor is kind of thinking uh, that I can do this 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 kind of thing and so that's something that supervisors should do they should promote and support their students professionally and academically and they should build their careers um, I hope this is, uh, um, you have found this uh, interesting. I hope both supervisors and supervisees might have got a little bit of an idea of what supervision uh, involves and what are the roles and responsibilities of the supervisors and the supervisees. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to give in the comment section. Many thanks for watching.